If I'm gonna let him keep doing it. I hear you, buddy boy. Here I come. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be a new deal. You can't fool me, buddy boy. Uh, you've been scaring folks around this place for far too long. And I'm gonna make sure that you leave, because you need to find your own place now. Maybe, uh, maybe the Bermuda Triangle, yeah? Or, uh, I hear Lake Hollywood's lovely this time of year. Well, either way, you're leaving, and I'm gonna make sure of that. Oh, there you are, you son of a gun. It's checking out time. You've been scaring so many kids for so many years, it's time for you to finally go away down under with the rest of the Dynacrocs and Piranacondas. So I'm giving you just one week, seven days to clear out once and for all. And if you don't heed my warning, you'll be a lot sorrier because I'm not going to be so charming when I come back. Yeah. Still half full My day's gone bad How wonderful The sky is turning Black and gray But that's okay My shoes untied But I don't care No, no crows this time. It's uh, cinnamon rolls. Oh, that's so good. You're late again. Oh, hey, that reminds me. Some guys stopped by. They wanted to rent the complete set of uh, unexplained mysteries. Seriously? Yeah. Major Cash, did you get a number? 
No, they were uh, scientists that said they were doing research on the lake monster. Dude, I've been to the lake a million times as a kid. That monster's a lure for tourists and dopes. Oh, I always thought it was real. Hey, Larry, are you sure there's nothing to this lake monster thing? Got a better chance of seeing Bigfoot or a mermaid. Are you sure? Because old man Hodges told me he saw something one night while he was night fishing. Don't you mean night drinking? Hey, how's this one? Oh. It's a majestic cornucopia of sight and sound, headed up by a cast that can only be summed up as giants of their time. You've been taking this little walk with us since you started school last month, right? Yeah. Well, then you should know the drill by now. It's quiet time till we lose bars over the hill there. I just thought we could do something old school for a change. Like talk. Talk about what? I don't know. School? Plans for Friday night? How to make a million bucks? Whatever. Whatever. I wouldn't mind making a little conversation. And I wouldn't mind making a million dollars. <laughs> Funny, Ronnie. I just thought it might be cool to put down the phones for once and just chat. What? what? Chatting's for parents. Yeah, you just want to talk because you're a girl. Girls always want to talk. Really? I remember you doing some serious talking when Miss Rivers found all that wadded up chewing gum under your desk. I get out of it. <laughs> By blaming the adults from night school. Great excuse. Hey, worked. That's all I care about. So, Jamie, just how you plan on making your first million? Maybe you could tell them my folks. They're always grabbing the stretch of buck. Mine, too. I'm sick of Hamburger Helper. Yeah, tell us all we can make some quick money, will you, Jamie? I don't exactly know. Well, so much for small talk. Well, there they go. No more bars. <sighs> Lost mine. Me too. Well, the sooner we get home, the sooner we can get connected again. Well, let's get going then. Hey, wait, wait, I got a question. And what's that? How come we always take the right fork? If we take the left path past the lake, we can get home at least 10 minutes sooner. Maybe more. Not a chance. Bravo's right. This way's quicker. Yeah, I agree. No, 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 it's not. Before I met you guys, I went this way a couple of times. It's shorter. I know it. Are you sure you went that way? Yep. To the left? Past Lake Apolog? Yeah, why? And you didn't hear anything unusual? No. Or see anything out of the ordinary? No. Nothing. What are you guys talking about? Have you ever heard the legend of Nessie? The legend of ne what? Nessie, it's supposedly a giant monster that lives in the lake. <laughs> Get out of town, you're joking. No, 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 it's true. It's been spotted by eyewitnesses for over 100 years. And it's over 50 feet tall, with huge jaws that could eat a person whole. And you guys believe this? Well, this monster will exist, right, guys? And you must have some sort of proof, right? I heard it once. When? Look, listen. Last 4th of July, my dad let me stay up past midnight. We was down by the lake, lined up fireworks. <laughs> Suddenly, we heard a loud cry in the distance. I never seen my dad so frightened, folks. Picked me up and we lit out there like the devil himself was trying to get us. When we came home, my dad didn't say not a word to my mom, and he never spoke of it since. You could believe that. You could have just heard a car horn or something. I know what a car horn sound like, and it ain't that. So come on, guys, let's get going. Okay, you can take the long and winding road. I'm going this way. Whatever. Janelle.
sorry, Jamie. You got my payment? Look, Tony, it's like this. Uh, business has been slow, but we came up with this great new Shut market. up! Nobody asked you. You owe me $1,000. And I want my money by... Uh... Saturday, boss. Saturday. Or uh, Alphonse here, he busts some kneecaps. You understand? You understand, ladies? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And don't try and skip town on me or else. Or else what? Or else this. You gonna rent movies from us? <laughs> you get the picture? I love a good horror movie, don't you? <laughs> you know, guys, I hope you don't pay. I've been kneecapped into it for almost two whole days. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's Mason. Can't we lock up? I wish. I'm here for the rent, Larry. Two months. I need a few more days, Mr. Mason. You said that last time. And the time before. End of the month. Get caught up, or you're out of here. You got it? Yeah. Got it. Good. And I'm taking these for my granddaughter. She's home with the crew. Fine, they're on me. No problem. Is there anyone I don't owe money to? Actually, you owe me six bucks for pizza last night. Rhetorical, bro. Rhetorical. Who's rhetorical? Avast! What are you doing here all alone, boy? Aren't you afraid of the... of the monster? No. I'm afraid of you. <gasps> well, uh, There's no need to be afraid of me, young fella. <laughs> it's that Nessie. And that's who you gotta be fretting about. You mean there really is some sort of creature? Well, uh, you heard it, didn't you? Y you mean that wasn't you? <laughs> you thought I was doing all that bellering, did you? I, I guess not. But what did? Where? Well, uh, come on. I'll show you. But... Hmm. Oh, no. Now, you don't have to be afeard, young swab. Nothing can happen to you as long as you're here with me. I wish I had your confidence. Well, what do they call you, boy? James, sir. But, um, most people call me Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Master James, first of all, you can drop that whole sir bit. And you can call me what everyone else calls me. And that is? Well, I'm Captain Jack. <laughs> Captain Jack O'Grady, <clears throat> at your service. Go on, it's a tradition, you know. <laughs> now, Master Jamie, how would you like to see a real live sea monster up close and personal like? 
Sure. All right, then. Follow me. from the bank with good news, I hope. Sadly, Maxwell, there's been a snag. Skipper had a will and a living heir. A grandson. A will? A grandson? Oh, no, no. There's got to be a way to intercede. A loophole, something. I don't think so. It's all legal. Everything that Skipper owned now belongs to one Larry Krupnik. <sighs> Wait. This could be fortuitous. The bank forecloses it. It cost me a half a mil. Maybe I can pick it up from this Larry fella for a song. Do the research, Kitty. I want to know exactly who this Larry Krupnik is. Should I call you at the office? I'll be back in a half an hour. I want to play one more round. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Could be a new course record. Sure you're right. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> and you keep your eyes peeled, Master Jamie. Because it could be anywhere. I thought I was the only one. No, we need to tell somebody about this. No, 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 we can't do that, Master James. It, it, this darn sea monster just never seems to come when it's called. I think the only reason it comes around at all is because I know how to call it. Uh. Well, can you call it again so I can get a picture? A, a picture? No. Well, if people saw a picture, they'd know it was real. And that would be an overnight sensation, and yeah, then it'd never leave. Leave? Why do you want it to leave? Maybe because it's always up to no good scaring the poor little kids around the lake. Well, Captain, if we told people, uh, tourists from all over the world would come here. Oh. Well, I, I don't know about that, Master James. I think I'm gonna have to think about that one long and hard. You should. I don't want my parents to worry, so I better get going home. It was nice to meet you. Same here, Master Jamie. Day? Well, sure. <laughs> Usually find me over there by that shack yonder. That's where I keep my gear and supplies. You live there? Well, it'd be really hard to live there with no running water. No, I rent me a nice place right behind the, the bait shop. Do you know where that is? Yeah, it's owned by that pretty lady, right? That she is. Seems you're not as young as I thought you were, kind sir. I'm only ten, and that's not the girl I'm after. Oh, well, a thousand apologies. <laughs> you know, I, uh... I meant no offense. None taken. I can't wait to go home and tell my parents what I saw. Wait, they, now there you go again. Now listen close, young fella. This is between you and me. Of all these years I've been telling people about that sea monster, the only people that have ever listened to me are kids your age. My pal Bobo's father might disagree with you on that. Mm. Well, uh, take care of yourself, young fella. OK, I'll see you after school. Well. I'll probably be here. I swear, Jamie, I know you've heard me say don't talk to strangers. But mom... Don't but mom me. You know what I'm saying. You know how to play it safe by now. Your mom's right. You too, Alfie. This is important. But, Dad, you haven't heard a single thing I've been saying since I got home. I saw it. For real. He did, Dad. Jamie saw the mom. Alfie, honey, just eat your greens. No more talk about monsters. Yes, Mom. I don't doubt that you caught a glimpse of something odd. But I doubt it was a sea monster. 
Yeah, your dad's right. That fin you saw is probably just a sailboat or something. It wasn't a sailboat. I know what that looks like. Okay, well, maybe it was your captain friend playing a joke on you. He wasn't. You know, if you ask me, I think it was just an optical illusion. Sometimes when the sun is setting, you can play weird tricks on your eyes, especially when it's going down on the ocean. You know, when I was in the Navy, I saw what I thought was a big UFO rising out of the ocean. Really? Like on TV? Yeah, but when we sailed closer, it turned out to be just a flock of birds flying in a circle. Tom, that is hysterical. You never told me that. Yeah, hysterical. Okay, I'll tell you what. If you wait till the weekend, I'll go down to where you saw that thing and we'll look for it together. How's that? Can I come too? Yeah, Alfie. We'll make a David. Just the three of us. Father and son time. I like that. Great idea. You know, if I had an iPhone like the rest of the kids, I could have easily just snapped a photo of it. Jamie, please, let's not go on about the iPhone nonsense again. Can we just be happy about the laptop that your dad got you? When we were your age, nobody had cell phones and computers, and everybody survived just fine. Yeah, but that was the olden days. Yeah, the olden days. That notwithstanding, boys, it's going to be a while before either of you will be getting a phone. Understand? Yes, sir. May I please be excused? Certainly. But make sure you come back, because I have your favorite dessert, pumpkin pie. I'm not hungry anymore. All right. Well, you guys can go. Straight to your homework. OK. Come on, Alfie. Olden days? Really? They're, they're just kids, right? Well, Alfie, the captain was right. About what? They didn't believe me about the monster. Well, make that three, because neither do I, really. That's why I got to get solid proof. How? I got an idea. Hey, what are we doing in Dad's room? Keep still. Whisper. Why? Because I don't want Mom and Dad knowing that we're in their room. Why? Because that's why. Just leave it at that. Why? Oh, my gosh. Alfie, please be quiet. Okay. Hey, that's Dad through camera. Shh. What did I say? Okay, but he's gonna be mad if you take it. He won't even let Mom touch it. That's because women are bad photographers. And I'm not really taking it. I'm just borrowing it for a day. I don't know. But I do. And if you see anything, I'll tell Dad that you took it. <gasps> really? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I won't do that. Just please keep the secret between us. <laughs> Thanks, Alfie. I know I could count on you. Must you make me wait every day? Got my crawlers? No crawlers today, bro. Jellies. Excuse me, uh, Lawrence Krupnik? Who's asking? I've got a certified letter from First National Savings for a Lawrence Krupnik. The bank? Uh, he's on vacation. Australia, you know, the Outback. He may have been killed in a freak dingo accident. Well, that's a shame, because uh, he's inherited something. Inherited? Wait, did you say Krupnik? Oh, no, no, yeah. Uh, see, I thought you said, that's me. Where do I, where do I sign? Right here. All right. Huh. Take it easy. You too. Thank you. Wow, my grandpa died. Oh, bummer, man. I haven't seen him in, what, 10 years? And it says here that I inherited his boat, uh, cabin, and some of his property. Oh, cool. And 40,000 in loans against it? Oh, bummer again. Wait, it says down here I can sign it over to the bank. Oh, cool. Which means I've inherited nothing. Oh, bummer. Oh, great, turkey neck's back. Is. This huh. could be like destiny knocking. You want to go check it out after work? Oh, for sure, man. Oh, you didn't get the chocolate ones. Hey, guys, wait up. Wait up. I saw it. I saw it. Saw what? The monster. Nessie. Yeah, right. No way. Seriously, I saw it with my own two eyes after we split up. You guys should have saw it. Big as a house. Got any proof? No, but it will after school. How so? With this. Hey, that looks expensive. It's probably his dad's. 
Yeah, so? He let you borrow it? Yeah, no problem. And Ronnie, you want to know how to make a million bucks, right? I guess you got that figured out, too. I do. Well, almost. I read online last night that the National Inquisitor paid big bucks for a blurry pic of Bigfoot. If they will pay 50 large for that, who knows what they'll pay for a clear shot of Nessie. And you're gonna get this done all by yourself? Not exactly. I'm getting help from that old captain guy that lives by the dock. Captain Jack? Yeah, that's him. Well, forget it. That guy's crazy. My dad says he hasn't been right since something weird happened to him 20 years ago. What? I don't know what, but it probably has something to do with that monster. Really? Yeah, really. Okay, come on, guys, or we're gonna be late for the bus. Hey, anybody got bars yet? Mine just came back. I'm back on. Me too. Let's go. Well, Izzy, you think this is it? Well, check the address. There are no mailboxes, Izzy. Maybe the boat has a number on it. Come on, let's go check it out. So what do you think? I am all about any vehicle that comes with its own slide. Hey! Hi. I'm Tamara. Tamara Williams. Uh, <laughs> you must be Larry. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is Izzy. Hey, I'm Izzy. Hey. <laughs> but how did you know? Oh, I knew Skipper. Your grandfather? He used to talk about you all the time. Really? Well, yes, silly. I mean, he's leaving you, like, everything, isn't he? Even the Jezebel. God, isn't she a beaut? Well, that's not the exact term I would use, but... No, she just needs a little TLC. Or a torpedo. So, Larry, I guess you're my new landlord. Landlord? Oh, that bait shop up there? It was Skipper's as well. Oh, yeah, no, no, I read about it. I, I just haven't had time to go check it out yet. You should. I've been leasing it out for about a year now, and I guess I should tell you right up front that I'm a little behind rent, but I swear hey, that I'll hey, get hey. it. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. I know what it's like to have to scrape together the rent. It's no big deal. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, I better get these wigglers back to the shop. Do you have worms in there? Yeah. I, uh, I do run a bait shop. Uh, oh, what? You don't like oh, worms? Oh, oh, not since my hook baiting accident of 98. <sighs> well, I hope that doesn't stop you from coming by. See ya. Hey, look at that, bro. Those are the guys that wonder around unexplained mysteries. Here's an unexplained mystery. Why are you looking at them when you should be looking at that? Oh, mystery solved. Hey. All right, all right, come on. Let's, let's go check out the boat. Yeah, well, you, you do that. You know, Wesley, this is going to be the greatest scientific discovery of the new millennium. And the previous? Have you got your Nobel Prize acceptance speech prepared? Right here, buddy. This is gonna get us published. Scientific America? Better. Popular science? Better. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get going. You can't see a big one. Thanks. I'm the king of the world! <laughs> what do you think, Iz? Well, the way I see it, you've got two options. You can either take this to the old boat's home, or you can sell it for scrap metal. Now, I know my opinion doesn't mean a lot to you, but uh, I think you can make some serious cash off this. I'm keeping her. What? Really? Sweet. Come on, man. Let's go check out the skipper's cabin. Now, I think I'm just going to stay here and get some rays. In the shade? I don't want to get burned. Suit yourself.
Whoa, who are you? I am Ariel. Oh, I am Izzy. I need you. I want you to help me. Is that your vehicle? Kinda. Will you help me, one who calls himself Izzy? I, who am called Izzy himself by you, who is known as Ariel, will. Basically, yes, I will. Come on. All right, just get those long legs in there. There you go. So you're proud, Gramps. Sorry I woke you. No, it's it's fine. I just haven't been getting much sleep lately. Well, I thought I'd stop by and see. Do you want to come with me and help dig red wigglers? That is about the strangest proposition I've ever had from a beautiful girl, but sure. Wesley, you should repack everything. We've got everything. Monster chum? Check. Tranquilizers? Check. Choco snacky globs? Choco snacky globs? We gotta eat, don't we? Check. Thank you. Oh, hey, look at this one. He's juicy. Oh, yeah, mmm, real tasty, that one. You know, you have an unusually strong attraction of worms. They're called red wigglers. Oh, right, red wigglers. How could I have forgotten? Hey, they're composters, you know. Composters? Yeah. They eat organic refuse. So you're, like, safe if you're ever attacked by a giant pile of banana peels. <laughs> <laughs> it's how they get so big and fat. I don't want to alarm you, but I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. No, no, Izzy. You see, I, I... Oh, look, a little old lady. They know lots of stuff. I'll ask her. Excuse me! Do you know where the Baltimore Turnpike is? Not then, you nosh, vagona, vagona. The Baltimore Turnpike! Ishma, bushka, bushka. Ah, you've been of absolutely no help. Thank you. I don't want to alarm you, but I think that little old lady was a witch. Oh. Can you have my GPS? Your GP what? I'll get it. 
According to this, we're in Lapland. Well, of course we're in Lapland, Izzy. I took you here. There are sardine vases. We'll go together. Well, that sounds great, but it's a little cold out. Well, that's why I brought these. Oh, well, that's convenient. For you. Uh, ooh, I like the color. So, hey, pretty good catch today. Uh, you know, I thought I'd leave it to the expert. You know, someone who doesn't have an irrational fear of worm guts. <laughs> I'm really glad you're giving the Jezebel a chance. <laughs> I think Skipper'd be happy to know that his little piece of heaven isn't going into Maxwell's hands. Maybe I could give you a tour tomorrow around the lake. Give you a chance to hear the whole story. Uh, yeah, that, that'd be great. It's a, it's a date. I mean, a deal. It, it's a deal. Look, we shug. It's sealed. Okay. <laughs> sealed. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Just... You, you're gonna have to let go of my hand. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'll... Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow then, huh? Tough day, huh? Uh, yeah. That pop quiz in math really took me by surprise. Same here, but I think it did okay. How about you? Not sure. Algebra's tough. Yeah. You know, I'm really good with numbers. My mom says I get it from my dad. So if you ever need any help, I'll be glad to study with you. Thank you, Jamie. That's really kind of you. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to come along with you yesterday. So why didn't you? I don't know. I guess I was a bit scared. Those stories about the monster have always had me spooked, I guess. So you really saw it then? You don't believe me? No, 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 I, I do. It just seems strange. Yeah, I know. Was it scary? Kind of, but it was really far away in the distance and couldn't really get a good look at it. That's why I'm going back today with this camera. Captain Jack will call it and I'll get a shot of it. Aren't you afraid? I suppose, but if I get a good shot of it, it's like money in a bank. Do you, do you mind if I come along with you today? I promise not to scream or anything. I would love that, you know. I really would. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Excellent as always. So, what do you know? I can sum him up in one word. Dead beat. He's in debt up to his ears. No. Worse. He's drowning in it. He's behind on his rent. He's about to lose his business. And if he doesn't make a payment on the skipper's property by Monday, the bank will foreclose. So Larry's dead broke, eh? If there's a stronger word for broke, he's whatever that is. Excellent. That land is mine, one way or another. <sighs> hey, how's it going? Uh, well, it was going great. I almost had them all up there. Looks good. You know, thanks for helping me out. Uh, no problem. Anytime I'm free, I'm yours. So, where's your friend Izzy? He is missing, and so is my car. Well, where'd he go? I wish I knew. You know, I've never met a girl like you before. <laughs> no, I mean, literally, I've never met a girl that can transport an entire car over the ocean. Were you born with that ability? As a matter of fact, I was. Oh, that's interesting. This is my favorite spot to go to. It's so beautiful. Yeah, if it wasn't 50 below, it'd be perfect. Well, it has to be cold. Otherwise, the sardine races couldn't happen. Oh, here they come. Come on, Sea Biscuit. Come on, baby. <laughs> come on. I was always $10. You know, when I saw you, I knew that you were the one. The one what? Just the one. How about I show you something that I like to do? OK. You ever been to a doubleheader? No, what is that? Well, do you think you can conjure the car back to Baltimore? I'll show you. Oh, well, I think I can. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. Free hot Captain Jack! Captain Jack! Captain Jack! 
He's probably out in the lake fishing or something. But he promised he would be here. You know, Jamie, it's gonna be dark soon. Maybe we should just come back tomorrow. I think I know who he is, though. That would be? Come on, it's not far. This is where he says he hangs out a lot. It doesn't look like anyone's lived here for years. That's because there's no lights or anything. Let's go. I don't know about this. Janelle, don't tell me you're scared. I'm not scared. Cautious. That sounds like something my mom would say. You don't have to be so insulting. I'm sorry. Well, we came all this way. We might as well knock. Can't hurt. Oh, okay. I don't know about this. Captain! Captain Jack, are you in there? I don't think anyone's home. He's not home. Well, let's try. Let's get out of here. No, wait. Check out all this old stuff. It almost looks haunted. Yeah, it does. Hey, you can't go in there without permission. Hey, the door was open, wasn't it? But you could but nothing. I wanna check this place out. You have no messages. Izzy, where are you? all night with my car Baltimore Baltimore that's like far yeah hey I had a full tank of gas yeah you did hey I brought you a t-shirt let me see sounds sweet you know I've done crazier things for girls so how's business been going since I've been gone did you have any tours yesterday <laughs> tours no and to be honest business has been quite slow how slow glacial that's huge that's slow, but don't worry, don't worry. I have a brilliant idea on how to get some business in here. How's that, dude? Television. We're gonna put a TV on board? Looking for a fun-filled adventure that won't take a big bite out of your wallet? Tired of staying home every night watching reruns on TV? Then come on down to Lake Apolog and join me, Larry Krupnik, on the greatest boat tour since your last boat tour. Snorkeling! <laughs> Sliding! Woo! Swimming! Bring briquettes and have a barbecue! Enjoy a full day on the water! Have a picnic at one of our free tables! Complete shower facilities and free water for the kids! So just call 555-8127. Uh, Operators are standing by. That deadbeat may not be the moron you made him out to be. It'll never work. I don't care. Call my brother-in-law at Channel 3 and have him kill that spot. I need to be sure this loser doesn't pull a rabbit out of his hat and raise enough money to make that mortgage payment. You mean? Absolutely. It's time to put Operation Big Fat Check into motion. When money talks, deadbeats walk. We'll visit good old Larry and make an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> Do 
you have any idea what the word epic means? Dude, something must have gone wrong, all right? I don't know what could have happened. Well, what time did you put the commercial on? Well, I put it right in between International Ping Pong and, and Kindergarten Jury. Oh my gosh, I love that show. Those kids are so cute when they send someone to the electric chair. I know, right? <laughs> hey guys, I saw your commercial. Hi. Oh, you know, we thought it'd be a great way to keep up on the payments, you know? Yeah, just look at all the customers. Oh. Yeah, so where are all the people anyway? I mean, this place used to be hopping. Families, jet skis, babes for miles. Not that I was looking. <sighs> well, it's all like what I told you yesterday. It's all that one guy. Let me guess, Maxwell. Yep. What is the deal with this guy? Well, hey, if you boys have time, follow me down to the shop. I'll tell you the whole story. Yes, I have oh. one. That's OK, I didn't need this light. Your patented monster chill might not be as effective as you'd hope. But it's your formula. What? I Did you forget that... to put in the isotopes again? You remember no. the nasty Loch Ness incident? Yes, I remembered. And as I remembered, the lock was freezing. And what does that have to do with remembering isotopes? That screw-up nearly cost us our reputation. Oh. You did that on purpose. Yes, I did. Did your mother know you did that, huh? Oh, 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 it is on. It is on now. Huh? You know that's live bait, right? I know. Yeah, well, if you keep playing with it, it won't be live anymore. Izzy. 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 I know. Hey, Tamara, Izzy and I were talking. This Maxwell guy, he owns all the land around the lake except for Skipper's. <laughs> the Skipper's land is your land now, Larry, including this bait shop. OK, OK. Yeah, but Max will be coming around soon enough with his big fat check routine. This guy sounds like a real panda lover. He's been coming around this place for over a year now, driving off all the tourists. Yeah, but why? That doesn't make any sense. Because he wants to build that big green casino right here. Ah, so Maxwell likes the bling bling. The bling bling. <laughs> no, not exactly. He doesn't care about that whole gold story. Gold? What gold? Around 1840. A pirate named Captain Noggin. He came here to become a farmer. A pirate <laughs> farmer. Well, let me get my hoe from my yard. <laughs> a legend says that he did see Ogopogo. And so he took his pirate loot and he hid it near the lake. Yeah, OK, Ogopogo, I don't care about. This pirate treasure is something worth looking into. Yeah, but where are we going to find it? Well, there's supposed to be a map. But no one knows where it is or who's even got it. I smell an adventure. Honey? What is it, Tom? Do you happen to know where my camera is? Uh, last time I saw it was in the dresser, second drawer from the top. On the right, right? Uh, yes, under your socks. Well, it isn't here now. OK. <laughs> I'll be right there. I don't know. Maybe it could have fallen to a lower drawer. I already checked. Nothing. Did you check the top drawer, too? I looked everywhere, including the closet. All right, so I don't know. Cameras just don't get up and walk away. Think, Tom, maybe you could have put it somewhere else in the house. No. It's been waiting there since my birthday last month. Now the one time I could use it for the weekend with the kids is missing in action. I don't know, Tom. I, I, I don't think it could have been stolen. What about you, sport? Happen to know what happened to Dad's camera, do you? He did, did he? Yeah, he's looking for the monster. <laughs> well, he found one now. Hey, look, we've got customers. Game face, bro, they look rich. Hello, Larry. Maxwell, Maxwell Gordon. You can call me Max. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. I'm sure. But let me get to the point of my visit. May I? I'm interested in making you an offer on Skipper Krupnik's entire estate. Including the bait shop? Yes, that's right. I don't know. 
I understand Skipper was into the bank for some pretty serious loans. So? So, take this check for 50000 right now and deposit it first thing in the morning. You don't have to give me your answer now, Larry. Let it sink in. $50,000 is a lot of money, Larry. I'll bet you could really turn your life around with 50 k in your account. I've written the bill of sale in mini print on the back of the check. All you need to do is sign it in the morning, and the deal is done. It's that simple. Not really. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. Can't believe you forgot the sonar. I didn't forget the sonar. You forgot the sonar. No, you forgot the sonar. But you made up the list. Yeah, but I didn't leave off the sonar. I didn't leave off the sonar. All I did was go check, 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 yeah, check. Check everything except the sonar. But you know why the sonar is not on here? Because you had to have room for your little child to Yeah, those are important about the sonar. Genius. $50,000. A lot of crawlers, man. And this is us, free and clear, right? Free from the movie shed rental, from Tony, from his Neanderthal. All right. Well, what about the gold? Izzy, that gold's about as real as Ogopogo. Nothing that's real stays hidden that long. Sorry, Iz. I know you love the slide, but I have to sell. You're selling? Tamara, wait! No! Tamara! Tamara! Come back! No! He loves you! Tamara, wait! No! No! What are you doing, guys? No. Act like you love her! Why? This is all so perfect! Hey, Jamie, look at this. That's from the cowboy days or something. Yeah. Oh, Janelle, check this out. It looks like Captain Jack when he was young. Wow. Handsome. Was he really the mayor here once? Sounds like it. Here, let me see. It says here that when he claimed he'd seen a monster in the lake, that the town committee had no choice but to vote him out of his job. Well, let me see. When mayor-elect O'Grady could offer no solid proof of his outlandish claims, the village council Covern Con convened. convened an emergency session and was forced to remove him on grounds of incompetence, 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 and instability. Some thought it was brought on by stress because his son James was in the hospital. They must have thought he was crazy. He did not. I'll tell you. I saw the monster yesterday. The fallout from the episode not only put the former mayor's career in limbo but caused a rift in his family life as well. After regaining his health, his estranged son James had tried to distance himself from the entire incident. What's a strange mean? Means he no longer wanted to see his old man again. We're not robbers, we're not robbers. Ah, now don't be afraid there, you two. If you can see the door is wide open, you weren't trespassing. Tell you the truth, I, I'm not even certain who owns this place nowadays. We didn't mean to. What, to pry? No. Oh, that newspaper's common knowledge. He wasn't prying, he's just reading, that's all. But you lost your job because of the monster. Yeah, well, losing my job, I guess, was tolerable enough. What I lost later, it broke my heart. Well, if they didn't believe you, why didn't you just call it like you did yesterday? <sighs> because that dang thing, it'll never show itself to anybody except me. That's why. I know you saw it too, son. Why do you suppose I was so surprised, so excited about it? All these years, I was the only one. I even tried to convince my own flesh and blood of it, and they wouldn't believe me. So I started thinking maybe I am going crazy. But you're not. Other people have heard it. You said it yourself. Yeah, hearing's one thing, seeing's another. Folks around here, they always want to come up with some practical explanation, you know, like, oh, no, is it a truck horn or, or a, a howling wolf? Nonsense like that. I, I promise you, that Nessie is there. Is that? <laughs> As if on cue. Hey, I brought my dad's camera. Maybe we can get a picture? Well, I don't think so, young fella, unless you got infrared photography. 
Why? What time is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, Jamie, it's 5.30. And that means? It'd be getting dark. Oh no, my parents are gonna kill me. Well now, don't fret there, Lassie. Well, Captain Jack will see you both home safely. But what about Nessie? Yeah, well, uh, let's say we chart that course sometime in the near future. Like tomorrow? Girl, why don't you let me sleep on it, all right? Meanwhile, we'd best get you home, all right? Aye, aye, Captain. Tamara! Tamara! Estranged. That's it. Oh, well, that's a long story, Missy. Yeah, since we don't have all night, I guess I'll give you the short version. First time I saw Nessie, nobody believed me, and no one has since. So overnight, I went from being Mayor O'Grady to Captain Crazy. That's mean. Yeah. You know, my son James was going to open up his own law firm in town, but then he started thinking maybe the locals would feel that lunacy ran in the family. I remember him in the recovery room, begging me. Dad, just tell him it was a bad joke. Did you? I couldn't. I'd be lying to him. He'd be lying to myself. That's not right. My pappy taught me one thing, that the truth will set you free. And I tried to pass that on to my own son when he was growing up. So, what happened? Well, he graduated college. It was time for him to make his mark in the world. And without nary a word with me, he packed up his fancy law books and he moved himself to Shelbyville. Shelbyville? That's like 50 miles away. Yeah, well, it may as well have been 50 million miles, if you consider <laughs> how little I see him now. That's terrible. Don't you ever hear from him at all? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, my birthday, Christmas. Always sends a car. I'll keep him in the shoebox. Makes me sad. I'm sorry, Captain. Me too. Yeah. Pay no mind. Pay no mind. Izzy! Izzy! Izzy, look! Hey! Look at this, man. I think... I think this is a pirate treasure map. Where did you find this? I was behind uh, one of my grandpa's old pictures. Check this out. X marks the spot. Do you think this is real? Well, of course it's real. Why else would Skipper have hidden it? All right, but check it out, check it out. This cove here, uh -huh. it matches that cove over there perfectly. What should we do? Well, we're gonna go find it, duh. <laughs> Well, thankfully, nothing's broken. Dad, I... Jamie, please. You had your chance for remorse. Now, let me say what I've got to say. When I was a kid about your age, my father had this expensive fiberglass fishing rod that he kept in the closet. It was his pride and joy, and I dearly wanted it. I thought it would make me the greatest fisherman in the world. Many afternoons, I thought I'd just grab it and go straight down to the lake with it. But you know what? What? I never did. 
because I had too much respect for my father's rules. And then one day he surprised everybody and he gave it to me for my 16th birthday. The green one in the hallway? Yep. And I still use it today. Now, I know you're not much of a fisherman, but you're one heck of an artist. And I'm thinking when, when you're old enough, I'm, I'm going to give you this camera. And that'll be my way of saying, carry on, buddy. You understand? I'm sorry, I was just trying to... I know, I know. You just wanted to prove you saw a sea monster, right? You're my son, so I believe you. Let's put this behind us and get on with normal, okay? Okay. Oh, I almost forgot, you know. Your mother and I were having a conversation last night after dinner about your math skills. She was saying how good you are in school with numbers. Yeah. I've got a list of ten numbers I want you to commit to memory. Okay. 213-555-6733. I don't understand. <gasps> For me? You alone. The new iPhone 8 with all the new cool apps? Thank you so much. Well, you know, you got to thank your mother. She gave up a big portion of her mad money so we could buy that. Thank you so much, Mom. Yeah, well, now if you see any more monsters, snap away and just put it right up on Facebook. Hey, where's mine? Good morning, Maxwell. What do you think? What's with the yellow tape? Well, this is where the statue of me is going to be. 20, makes that 50 feet of pure marble. What about the tree? It's been here for 100 years. I'm going to cut it down. Here, what do you think? Pretentious, obnoxious, and overindulgent. Flattery will get you everywhere. Hello, Mr. Gordon. Amy Skelp, Channel 3 News. Pleasure to meet you. Are you ready for your interview? I'm like lunch meat. Always ready. Jamie, make it snappy. You're gonna be late for the bus. I'll be right there, Mom. All right, I'm in no mood to drive you there myself. I'm coming, I'm coming. First call, better be a lucky one. Law office. Hey, may I speak to James Grady? May I ask who's calling? Jamie Williams. Hello, this is James Grady. Ah, uh, hello. Um, hello there, son. What can I do for you? Hello, Amy Skelp here with Maxwell Gordon, who over the years has bought up 99% of the property around Lake Apologue. Tell us, Mr. Gordon, what can the local community expect at Lake Apologue? Well, being of Native American descent, I have a spiritual bond with the sacred lands around the lake. For this reason, the natural habitats and ecology come first. Native American? Ten percent. I have papers pending at the Bureau of Indian Affairs. I see, Mr. Gordon, but if the lake and ecology come first, why has the county assessor recently approved plans for some kind of mega casino? Well, being an Indian, I felt I had a duty to my people. It's an age-old tradition. Indians have been building casinos ever since the first pioneers rolled across the prairies with that extra cash. What do you say to the locals who are afraid the introduction of gambling will bring an unwanted element to our community? Oh, I've curtailed that possibility by eliminating the penny slots and the all-you-can-eat buffet. Here, let me show you my statue. Cut. Did I kill or what? You killed something. I don't know what it was, but you killed it. I don't like the looks of this one bit. I thought I told you to keep an eye on them. I'm sorry, boss. Yeah, well, sorry, don't get my money back. Come on, let's see if he's at his house. It's upstairs, boss. I think it's this way, boss. Number two. What a dump. Kind of reminds me of home. Take a look around. OK, boss. Hey, look what I found. Seems old Larry's inherited a boat down at the lake. The lake with the monster? You afraid of monsters? Uh, I guess not, boss. Well, you better make sure, because we're going to pay old Larry a visit. Mr. 
This is it, Is. This is gonna fix my whole life. I mean, the Jezebel, the movie shed, Tony Kaput. Well, all right, Captain, but, uh, which way do we go? Um, according to this, we go north at the fork. Oh, the fork's right there, ma'am. I think it means this one, bro. Oh, yeah. Here we go, bud, it's this way. All right. Man, you know what we could use right now? Some suntan lotion? It'd be fantastic. It's more than hot. Look at this sun. Supernova. I've seen this much foliage before. Yeah, but I was a kid. When were you ever a kid? You're gigantic. <laughs> the better question is, why am I not like a kid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hold up, hold up. What? You see that path over there? Yeah. That's right here. That means we're here, and the treasure is right there. It's only an inch away. It stands for miles, bro. Oh, cool. Treasure hunting is easy. Are you sure this is the right place? Well, there's no other place around the place, so this must be the place. Where do you want to start digging? I know exactly where. Come on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on. Dude, I think the golf course is going to be ticked off about this. Izzy, yeah. it's an 18 hole golf course, right? Uh huh. Well, the way I see it, we just gave him 18 more to play on. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? A pipe? Should I keep digging? Yeah, keep going. Go. What? Izzy. Izzy, look, this is it! Izzy! <laughs> no, no, don't, not right there! Oh, then you that dirt! Get that! Come on! Come on! Here, help me lift it! Hold on! Lift this, Izzy! <laughs> Izzy, we found it! <laughs> I can't believe we found it! Get the shovel! Hurry, get the shovel! Come on! Uh, what do you think's in here? I don't know. Gold? Silver? Jewels? Rocks. Rocks? Yes! Yes! Wait, what? Rocks, Izzy. Rocks. You mean like the pet? Yes, like the pet. <sighs> Captain Noggin's a bad pirate. This is somebody's idea of a joke. Come on. Are you kidding? No, I am not. That's cray cray. I don't believe a word of it. He's telling the truth, guys. So you mean to say that if we go down to the lake after school, Nessie will definitely appear? If my prediction's right, 99% sure. How do you know? Well, every time the monster appears, um, Captain Jack gets... Gets how? Um... Emotional. Yes, emotional. What you know said. You mean like angry or sad? Yeah, that's it. Well, how do you even know that crazy old coot's gonna be angry or sad this afternoon? Neither. He's gonna be the best emotion of all time. Happy. And you know this because... I arranged it. I'm gonna have to go think about this. Okay, Bobo, go think about it. But don't think too long, or you're gonna miss out on a picture of a lifetime. The new iPhone? When'd you get that? Yesterday, my parents got it for me. It's beautiful. Guys, we definitely need to upgrade. That's for sure. Hey, I got full bars. Ready to get to school? Hey, I've got nothing here. Same. Oh. Yes, go, Jimmy. 18 holes is nothing. Well, maybe the journey was the treasure. <laughs> get real, dude. There is no treasure and there are no lake. Monsters. Dude, dude, he's Reverse coming, he's coming, go, 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 go! Come on! Let's go talk to Tony. Okay, there's no one here. I went by the movie shed earlier, Larry. For some reason, you weren't there. Tony, that's because we've been here trying to get your money. <laughs> trying? Trying's for attorneys. Trying doesn't get me my money. I told you not to skip out on me. I know, I know, or else, right? Or else. And it's finally time. Or, or else. Alphonse, do it. Izzy, uh, or else. Uh, uh, what kind of thug?
dog are you? Get up! <laughs> I think we lost him. Dude, we found him! Hello, <laughs> Claude! Get in! Come on! Get him! Come on, come on! No, 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 no! Fuck, get him! once and for all. Give me the lighter. But I want to light it this time. You got to light it last time. It's got a short fuse. I'll show you who's got a short fuse. Now give it to me. <clears throat> what is it, Larry? It hurts me deep, way down in my wallet, but the answer is no. I won't sell. Oh, Larry, 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 have you thought this through? When you lose everything to the bank, I'll just scoop it up. Why not line your pockets while the opportunity is presenting itself? I'll find a way, somehow. Larry Krupnik, do you really think you can go up against me and win? I'm not trying to win. I'm just trying. Well... Try this, a hundred and fifty thousand. Sorry, Mr. Gordon. No. Krupnik, you're a fool, like your grandfather and his father before him. Lake Apolog belongs to the Gordons, and I will have it all. Do you hear me? Mm. Hello, you got Iz. Hey, Iz, it's Lair. Uh, can you hold down the fort for a bit, bro? We have a fort? Jezebel, dude. Oh, yeah, I can watch it. All right, I'll see you in a few hours. Oh, hey, Ariel. That is called Izzy. What are you doing? Oh, I'm holding down the fort. <laughs> That's an honorable thing to do. Well, thank you. You know, Ariel, I always see you popping in and out of the water. Where are you from? I'm from down under. Well, that's funny. You don't sound Australian. I'm not Australian. What are you? What is your word? 
beautiful? <laughs> I think the word is mermaid. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. I must go, Izzy. Uh, take care holding down the fort. No, 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 wait! Wait, no! Whoa. You come back and see us. Bye. So, Mr. Krumpnik, what, are you here to terminate my lease? No. I turned him down. You what? I turned down Gordon. I sold my car and paid my way out of my former life. I even have enough money to pay this month's mortgage. Great. But what happens in 30 days? I was kind of hoping we could figure that out together. There's no way he'll come up with that $2,000 mortgage payment by Monday. One way or another, we'll have it all wrapped up by this time next week. <laughs> so what now? Bring the car around. I've got a meeting in town with the bank president to seal all the deals. Hey, Iz. Hey. I'm not on good terms. <laughs> Relax, buddy. Uh, you sleep okay? Yeah, I slept pretty good. Uh, how about you? Not too bad. <laughs> hey, enough about that. Check this out. What is that? Oh, it's money. Oh, but there's not oh. one. Oh, there's, there's not no. one. It's like magic. <laughs> Where did you get it? Oh, you see the car? No. Got rid of it. What? And I got rid of the movie shed, Tony and his steroid pump in Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> get up, man. Let's go get the girls, get some lunch. Oh, wicked. All right. Yes, wicked. Ah, dang it, lad. I, I told you before. You just can't count on that Nessie to ever show up when you want him. My parents say never to argue with adults, but this time I gotta. Nessie's coming today. I'm certain of it. Yeah? How do you figure that? Do you remember the first time you saw the monster? Mm, sure I do. Like it was yesterday. How were you feeling on that day? Feeling? Well, so that was a long time ago. I read in the newspaper that your son James was in the hospital. Well, yeah, he was. Thankfully, he got himself better and got out. But you didn't know that at the time. You were sad, worried. That's why Nessie came. You could feel your pain. Somehow, you guys are connected. Nessie can sense your feelings. Well, you might just have something there, young man. I do. Well, at least I think I do. <laughs> well, but... How are you gonna take a picture of it when I ain't really feeling any kind of strong emotion one way or t'other? Hey, Dad. everything. He's got a real future as a lawyer if he decides to pursue that kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, he, uh, he called me and he really broke down some walls. Thank you, lad. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> oh, we got a lot of time to make up for, son. We sure do, Pop. We sure do.
Keep the car running. I'll be back in Jiffy. No worries. Okay, but hurry up. I'm hungry. And I'll need another 20000 transferred from my business account for the statue. I just need the proper form, so excuse me. I'll, I'll be right back. Always takes forever when we come here. Oh, I'll relax, Maxwell. Hi. I need to speak with somebody about making a loan payment. He's here. Kitty, I'm adding, please. Maxwell Crumpnick is here. Oh, no. No, no. We cannot let him make that payment if he makes this one. Anything could happen in the next month. And another. And another. These are the kinds of moments that need to be nipped in the bud. What do we do? I'll steal it! What? Larry's cash! Go out there. Cause a diversion. I'll grab the cash and meet you at the car. Are you serious? Do you like the nice clothes, the car, the jewelry? The... I'll do it. Oh, Philly D.
see what I see? It's cold! The treasure is the boat. He found it. Gramps actually found it. It's so beautiful! See it, Ariel? Ariel? It's gold! Impossible! That crazy old sailor had the treasure all the time! It's not a real equipment! A board never gives up! Ariel! I'll find a way to get you back under my phone! Look! Oh, what was that? You're wonderful. Oh, there's a lot of things about this lake that would surprise you. I like those kinds of surprises. Well, I'll be darned, Dad. Looks like you were right all along. <laughs> it's all the same to you. I am through with monster hunting for the rest of my life. <laughs> what about all the money I sunk into this? That is not my problem. What do you mean it's not your problem? I sunk 10 grand into this. How am I going to get that money back? Look, we can apply for loans, we can apply for grants. No matter how many loans or grants we get, we're never going to find a monster. Just shut the door and let's go. Fine. At least we'll have a pleasant ride home. <laughs>